Hey everyone, so I had a request to show swatches of my Urban Decay Cream Shadows, and I actually have nine of them. I ordered, if you don't know, during the sale, um, they had uh, $3 for their cream shadows, and these were originally $17 a piece. So I think that these are a steal, and they're amazing, amazing, amazing products. If you just kind of want to put one shadow on, walk out the door, and, you know, so simple. Um, their shipping is six dollars so it's not the worst shipping and you know these are such a steal that you're still really really having a steal <laughs> so to start off by saying there is a con to these for me I have extremely oily lids and you do have to wear a primer with these I use the Urban Decay primer potion and I mean you can use anything else I've never tried anything else um, but that's what I use and I think it's a must and if you check out my blog um, I just created a couple months ago. It's sweetpimpin23.blogspot.com. I'll put a little link somewhere down below. Um, I actually show all these on my eyes. And um, if they're not up by the time I put this video up, they'll be up within the next day or two. But I'll try to get it up before I post this. I'm showing what it looks like on my eyes. And the first picture is what it looks like without using the primer potion underneath. I waited like 10 hours, I don't know, and took a picture. And it's all in my lid. It just creases so bad. I have really oily lids though. So, I mean, for someone who doesn't, I don't think you'd have a problem. It's supposed to have the primer potion in these, but I think it must be so small that it doesn't work. Um, because even me using the primer potion, I still get a little creasing with my eyeshadow. Not all the time, but sometimes I still do. So I think my eyelids are extremely just oily, but I don't think these are too good by themselves. But I know some people can use them. I've seen videos on, so I guess just kind of play it by how oily your lids are. Um, so I'll start off with showing you up close. This one is Rehab. And I shall show you on my hand. That's Rehab. So it's just like a bronzy brown color. And these are so pigmented. So pigmented. Just barely putting them on your lid and they're crazy. So for me, I like to use these by themselves. But of course you can use these and just, you know, simply put something else over it to make your eyeshadow stand out more. Um, the next one is Suburbia. And this one is a lot more like bronzier. See, it's a lot more like coppery, which I think is beautiful. And then the next one I have is Whipped, which this one is just more kind of like a light glittery color. So if you like glitter, then you'll love this. It definitely has glitter, which I don't mind the glitter. And this one is like a, I would describe it as a champagne color. So it's a lot lighter. And then the next one is Sphinx, which this is an extremely just purple, I mean, I'm sorry, pink, um, kind of glittery. This one, I think, has the most glitter of all of them and I mean I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing but if you don't love glitter then you might not like this one either because some just kind of have a sheen and then some are just glittery so that's that one these seriously are like amazing I love these they're so pretty and pigmented Never would I pay $17, but I'm a cheapskate. And this one is Delinquent. There you go. And there it is. And it's just a really bold purple. And it shows up really kind of dark on the lids. And this one is Midnight Rodeo. And this is more of a 
really light. This is the lightest one of all of them. Um, I'm going to try to get it to show up the best I can. This is like the lighter version of Sphinx, I would say. So you can see that. Sorry if you hear me sniffling. My allergies are really bad these past couple weeks. So it's, you know, a slightly pinky champagne color, but it's a whole lot lighter than any of them. And again, I'll have better swatches of all this on my blog. And then the next one is Mushroom, which I wore this yesterday, and it is beautiful. It reminds me of like a gel version of MAC Satin Taupe. Just because it's it's more of like a, a gray color. If you can see. Looks a little black on camera, but it is definitely like gray like this cap. And then the last one I have is also one of my top favorites is grass. And this one is a beautiful green, like Christmas tree green, <laughs> and that's that one. So that's all the ones that I have, and definitely check out my blog for better swatches because that's with the lighting and stuff I have, that's as good as it's going to get. But my favorites are the green and the purple. And I really love the Midnight Rodeo for just, like, pretty, like, glitter champagne color on my lid. Um, these will not wear off. Like, if I let these dry and then try to rub them, they're pretty much stay in place. I mean, I don't think that they're by no means waterproof, but they do really, really good with how well they stay on. If you can just, you know, prevent it from getting in your crease if you have oily lids like me. So, $3, definitely worth it. I hope that they have these colors still in stock. I think they ran out of stock of one of them, but definitely check these out if you haven't already. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And thanks so much for watching this video. Bye.